Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. I've been asked quite a bit on how I price jobs. So in this video, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna run through how I price for cabling, for the network equipment, the cameras, and my labor. For invoicing and estimates, I use QuickBooks Online, but there are things like Ninja Invoicing that you could use, and I also use Unified Design Center quite a bit. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. You can find me on Twitter at MacTelecomN, and if you'd like to support the channel, we do have affiliate links down in the description below. So first, we always find out what the customer's requirements are, and for this job, we're going to be providing all the cabling, the cameras, the access points, the network switches, and the firewall. We need to figure out which type of cabling they want. For this job, we're just going to be using Cat6 Plenum Cable. Now, we have a floor plan, so let's bring the floor plan up. Typically, I print these out and I highlight every cable drop. If we zoom in to one of the rooms, you can see right here that we have these little triangles. On each of the triangles, that means that there's a data drop. So we're going to do the cabling first. I need to highlight each one of the cable drops so that we have a cable count. Scrolling out, we can see the IT closet is right here, which is pretty central. Standard cable runs for us anyway is 125 feet. And we charge anywhere between $120 to $140 per cable run. Different places in the world will cost different amounts of money. Also, if your company has quite a bit of overhead, it's probably gonna be more per cable drop. I pretty well do all these jobs myself, so that's the prices that I charge. Now I'm gonna circle all the data drops and then we'll find out our count so we could estimate how much the cabling will cost. All right, so I counted 65 cables. That's not including access points and cameras. With that, we have a total of 77. We're gonna be using about four access points and eight cameras. So let's go into my QuickBooks to do the estimate. Now at the top, I just have the customer name as YouTube, and then we have products and services. I've already populated most of the products and services that I use. So we're gonna be using Cat6. Under the description, it says installing, testing, terminating, and labeling the CAT6. So what each cable run includes, it includes the faceplate, it includes the labeling, and it includes the keystone jack. We do charge extra for patch panels. So say on our high end that we're $140 per drop. We're going to add a quantity of 77 cable drops, and in Ontario, we have to charge HST tax. So just for the cabling without patch cables, we're looking at $12,181. Now let's put this floor plan into Unified Design Center and I'll show you how I got four access points. And this is Unified Design Center. It's not a perfect science. We still test our Wi-Fi to make sure we have good coverage after we do the installation. But the project name, I'll just call it YouTube. The building location, I'll just say Toronto. And we have this product preference. We're gonna go with performance. It's gonna be office. And the building size is gonna be between 2,000 and 5,000 square feet. The building users will be between 100 and 300. So we'll press next. Under the solutions, we're gonna use wired and Wi-Fi network management. We're gonna use cameras. We're not at this point using building security or their unified talk. It's unified talks not available in Canada yet. So we'll create this project. Now we need to add a floor plan into here. So I'm gonna add the floor plan. We'll just call this first floor. We're gonna upload and we have the floor plan in here. So we'll press create. Now what we need to do, we need to set the ceiling height and we need to set the floor plan scale. The ceiling height in this building is going to be nine feet and then we'll set the floor plan scale. If we see down below here, you see the foot markers zero, four, eight, and 16. So we know that size is how far it is. So we'll click on the set and then we'll click from here to here and that is 16 feet. And then we'll press save. The next step is to add the walls or you have this room option, which the room will just do a square. So the walls we're gonna have outer and then we're gonna go along the whole perimeter. This is the time consuming part. So I'm gonna get that done and then we'll be right back. The walls have now been added and we can see the access point devices. I'm gonna click on access points and for this build, we're gonna be using the U6 Pros. We can see the Unify 6 Pros and from here, we could drag and drop access points onto the floor plan. So we'll say we want one near reception. We want one in the hallway. We want one down in the bottom right hand corner. And then we'll probably want one more in the middle as well. So with four access points on here, we could click the settings button and then we could see what the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz will be broadcasting with the walls in place. 
now we can see a basic heat map we can move the access points around if we like and then we could check out the five gigahertz as well and we can see that most of the floor plan is covered with good coverage unified design center really helps you out as where to place your access points obviously when you get on site and install these access points you're still going to want to do some wi-fi testing now you see how i get how many access points we're going to be using which is just an estimate we need to finish off this quote so we have our cabling but we need to add racks patch cables network switches firewalls and all of that so let's get the cabling done and then we'll work on the networking gear so i know that i'm going to be using two 48 port switches so we need to add some patch panels we use these keystone vertical cable patch panels that have a tension bar on the back under my products and services we have a 24 port keystone patch panel and this will be used for our cabling so in the description, I'll just put the same thing. We're going to be using four and I'll say they're about $40, which I think is correct. We need to add our tax on that. And the next thing we need is our patch cables. And I use these slim six inch patch cables. So we'll need 77. I'll just add 80 in there. So below I'm going to type in slim and we could see cat six slim six inch patch cables. I'll copy that as well. And we'll put 80 in and they're about three dollars each next we need to add the network rack for this install we're going to be using a 12u rack i use tdl canada to purchase most of my hardware and we're going to be putting in this hammond 12u rack if you haven't seen any hammond products they're great racks and they're actually out of guelph ontario so they're local to me we can see that this 12u rack is 170 dollars so the quantity will be one and then it will be 170 dollars plus our tax the last line for the cabling is miscellaneous so this includes the backboard for the rack and all our j hooks so we'll say j hooks and backboard the j hooks are usually the most expensive and we usually charge about 200 bucks for that so now we need to move on to our unify equipment typically for the hardware i get the customers to buy it so that they could take care of the warranty but if we are buying it for them i usually don't mark up any of the hardware if it's a ton of gear we may put 10 percent on it just for our time but we're going to be using a unify udm se in this for the firewall so in the description we'll put unify udm se firewall and we could see on the ubiquity website this is the canadian prices it's 643 dollars so on our estimate we'll put one and then we'll put 643. now the switches that we're going to be going with for this install are the switch 48 pro poe and in the description i'll just put unify 48 pro poe switch we're going to be using two of them and they come in at a price point of 1416 dollars next up we're going to be using the unify u6 pro access points and they come in at $192 and we're going to be using four of them. For the connections between our switches, we're going to be using 0.5 DAC cables and back to our UDM SE and they cost $19. So I'll say we're going to use three of those at $19. Now for cameras, we're going to use the G4 bullets and we're going to be using eight of those. They're 256. The UNVR is $385 and then we need four hard drives at 245. Now the last couple line items will be for labor and network configuration. The labor includes physically installing the access points, the cameras, the switches, the UDM Pro, and the UNVR, as well as the rack. And how I do it, I charge a half hour per device. So we have four access points, we have two switches, we have one UDM SE, we have eight cameras, and then we have one UNVR. So that's a total of 16. So we divide that by two and we get eight hours. I charge $100 an hour for the physical labor. So that's going to cost $800. So we'll put in eight hours at $100. And the last item is the network configuration. I charge $150 an hour for configuration. This site will probably take about 10 hours for the firewall rules, for the Wi-Fi configuration and testing, as well as setting all the cameras up. So we'll put in a quantity of 10 and then we'll put $150. So now that's everything that we need to complete this job. And the total price for this job is $24,366.19. Like I said at the beginning, people do price these differently. For cabling, people may charge per foot, maybe 50 cents per foot, and then do their labor costs on top of that. This is just how I do it, and I don't have a ton of overhead. If you have any questions about this video, please leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.